wrists slit. Now I lay there watching them drip into this evil pit. My life was worthless and I lived for no purpose. I can never get that grip on the sides of the pit in order to escape from it until my back twitched and God hit my switch telling me this is not my foreverness. Nor will it dismiss the value of me that he promised. I stumbled through the door with hope like never before, knowing the strength was not of me. I shuffled my feet, continuing to leak from the cuts that went deep and tried to enter me into my eternal sleep where Satan was gnashing his teeth, waiting for me. But you see, that's not what God planned for me. He quickened my feet to go and scream for the neighbor next door to me. Please help. Don't let this be the end of me. I can't spend eternity with the enemy. The neighbor opened the door in shock and horror. He had never seen someone so bloody before. He reached out for me and I fell to my knees, wrists continuing to bleed. And now it's getting hard to see. Oh my gosh, it's getting hard to breathe. God, is this my ending? Faint lights flashing, sirens blaring. Thank you, God, for sending them to me. Now I start to believe this won't be the end, you see. But only if it was that easy. I get looked at like I committed a crime while I lay there just waiting to die. They didn't even care about my life. Standing there demanding I stay on the ground because they don't want my blood all over their clean uniform browns. Defeated and scared, I watched them laugh at me with no care. I closed my eyes in utter despair, waiting for my last breath of air. But God's angels arrived there just in time to heal and repair. Now I sit in the ambulance well aware of God's care, even after my error. God's miracles clearly kept me here. My death set for another year. Never again will I go there because I am an heir to my father's kingdom upstairs. And he forever cares. I now realize I cut myself in vain trying to remove this pain that felt like a permanent stain from Satan and his evil games. But now I can boldly claim our Heavenly Father removed all my stains. It's never worth it. God values you. God loves you more than you can comprehend. He is there until the very end because he is our redemption. Suicide was not my final ride, God first.